I only know one thing. It's time for chapter two to end. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. It's Archangel. And yes, we're going to finish up chapter two today. Um, <clears throat> I was looking at the video from last time. Oh my goodness. Pinky, you cheating bitch. Well, that's it. I'm breaking it off with her. I've had it. Oh, it looks like we have another uh, bike race that we can do. Don't think you've won yet. Oh, they set me up with a bad bike. I don't want this bike. I have a better bike than this. Oh. Well. Yeah, you are. You're a wimp. The uh, graphical anomalies there. <laughs> you know something? I forgot to set my uh, affinities again. So I'm willing to bet you that uh, the game's probably going to crash at some point. So you're going to get another lovely uh, transition. <laughs> Video. I'd be amazed if it doesn't. Wow, that is just awful. Look at that, guys. We can call that a wrap. Okay. Um, I had noticed before that there was some manner of... Man, there is so much flickering going on. You know something? I'm going to have to uh, try to save my game and uh, see if I can't fix a few things. So I'm going to keep this part of the recording. But uh, for the sake of my sanity, <laughs> I'm gonna um, try to fix a few things. Uh, some graphical stuff and uh, fix the affinity as well so it doesn't end up biting me in the butt later on. <sighs> Let's go ahead and save though while I still can. Because that, <laughs> you notice, uh, the game's kind of freaking out. Maybe because of the anti-aliasing, or it could be because of the affinity, but uh, regardless, I'm going to uh, try to fix that. So let's go ahead and fix that now, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, welcome back. Um, I actually had another recording where I had completed all of the... Oh, looks like I need to go to bed. <laughs> where I had completed all of the go-kart races at the carnival and had unlocked an entire other circuit of go-kart races in the city. Uh, and I was just about to save my game and then... Guess what happened? The game crashed. Again! Yeah. 
I was really, really pleased about that, let me tell you. <laughs> anyway, um, but I decided not to include a transition for it. I was just like, you know what, hell with it. So, um, <clears throat> I am going to go ahead and attempt the go-kart uh, races again because, well, I want to go ahead and get them under my belt. I feel like it's something we need to do. No. Uh, sounds like a puppy was trying to attack me, but I'm not interested in fighting. Um, that's all right. And there are five races in all. This is the second race. Should be able to do this without much difficulty, but you never know. This idiot will get off of me. Alrighty. The key to this is when it tells you to power slide, do not power slide. Just let your foot off of the gas and brake. Don't attempt the power slide. The game is a liar. Because otherwise you will fly out of control. But other than that, like for really tight tight turns, just your foot off the gas will be fine. You notice that I am majorly outpacing them now. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, really, honestly, once you discover the secret of the go-kart races and how to control them, uh, not hard at all. Because the AI is set to behave in a certain way on these things, and it's really not a smart way to race. You want me to teach you how not to race like I do, and you'll be fine. Okay. Jimmy Hopkins delivers. And I could be doing this at a later time when I'd be winning a lot more prize tickets, but eh, who cares? I can grind out prize tickets with the um, high striker, which is honestly quicker anyway, so who cares? Doesn't matter. Yeah. Key to go-kart races is pretty much just get ahead of the other guys and once once you get ahead of them then it's just a matter of uh, maintaining and uh, staying calm not flying out of control because the, the problem that you run into is <clears throat> when you're still neck and neck with them and they try to bump you and stuff because that's what you know but anyway, this is pretty much it. This is the part that will mess you up. That, that part where it says, oh yeah, power slide, power slide, don't. Just don't. Just lay on the brake. Make a, make a manual turn. They're right behind me. I'm not outpacing them here. They almost jumped ahead of me. But that's okay. Down. Comes through. Or three down, actually. 
because I had done one before. Alright, so we got two more to do. And then we can unlock the city race. Especially on these later races, the AI gets really dumb. They just do not know how to handle these tracks. See, like that? That just bought me a whole bunch of time. Okay. The reason that I'm doing all this is because we need to waste some time, uh, and I don't have class today. Because today is biology and music, so might as well just do this. If you recall, we had already completed biology and music, so we can always optionally go back to those classes. Yeah, they're not going to catch up to me now. It's not going to happen. Well, unless I run into something. Because I'm not paying attention. That's always a possibility. The game doesn't seem to care that I run off of the... Track. So. They don't care, I don't care. Final lap. Done. 
look around old Bullworth Vale for the go-kart street races. Nice. Okay, so we're done here. Please, for the love of God, do not crash on me this time. Behave yourself. What? Oh, you think so? You're gonna sit on me? No, I don't think so. You'd have to catch me. Anyway, um, it was right outside the carnival gates that it decided to crash, I believe. No, it wasn't. It was actually just down the beach, but um, I'm going to save the game at our beach house. I'm not taking any chances after that. No way, man. Okay. Okay, I'm safe. Yay! So even if the game decides to be stupid, I am safe, man. And I know that there is an errand that will pop up somewhere on the beach, um, but I'm not sure. Hi. What's your problem? Anyway, um... It may be a little bit later. Oh, no, no. Here it is. Hi. Think maybe you'd please help me? One of those stupid bullies kidnapped my teddy bear. Will you get it back? Okay. Sure. Hey, thanks! You're welcome, Karen. Alrighty. Dumbass. You want to start something, tough guy? Buzz off. Guess what time it is. Yep. Time for a beatdown. Because you're a wimp. <sighs> well, that was easy. Here you go. Cool, Jimmy. Thanks. You're welcome. You notice how Jim Jimmy didn't actually do that out of the kindness of his heart. He just had to get paid. Oh, Jimmy. What a mercenary. Um, I've never lived in a poorhouse. You know, I'd actually, I'd actually wonder what living in a poorhouse would be like. I don't imagine it would be very pleasant, but you know. Um. Hey! I'm not interested in getting in a bunch of fights with you guys. Come on, man. You know what? I'm getting kind of tired of doing Chapter 2. I think I might go ahead and end it now. Okay, that's where... Okay, I'm just looking at the different locations for all the races. Um... On the map. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end chapter two. I think. I think those go kart races and that one bike race is more than enough for today. So let's go ahead and finish up. You guys really want to fight me? That's fine. But we're gonna take it to the ring. What is this? Help me, sir? Have you ever been to a sunken pirate ship? I bet there's something really cool out there. <sighs> Come in. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, well, maybe the uh, maybe the main mission will have to wait. So I'm going to go explore the shipwreck. Swim around the island. Hey, 
Now this is pretty cool. A grotto's a gremlin's card. You okay? Alright, Vance. I don't know why you decided to just be a pirate. And we got a pirate hat. And destroyed a gnome. Yes, this is a little hidden uh, thing of the game a lot of players don't find. It is the pirate. Okay, well, it's getting late enough that we're actually going to probably wait until tomorrow. I know, I know. It's funny how things work out in the game. Where the hell am I going? <laughs> uh... Uh... Where does this lead? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't need, I, you know something, I don't, I do not remember this, I don't remember this at all. This is interesting though. I mean, I remember the, stop that, I remember the pirate though. Do you remember him? I just don't remember these beams or anything. Or if there's anything over here. Ah. Wonder why no one picked this up. That's probably what it was. It was that rubber band. Okay. Well, I'm glad I caught it. Well, I uh, better get back and save my game. Go to bed. You know, Jimmy is a really good swimmer. I just thought about that. Uh, he. I mean, he's got a lot of stamina. I mean, he doesn't tire at all. He just keeps going and going and going. Pretty amazing, really. You know, this is my uh, beach house, guys. Why are you hanging around my beach house? You need to, like, go away. Seriously. I'm still dressed like in ponds. I suppose I could totally change my clothes. You know, in fact... Let's change my clothes. I don't want to be dressed like this anymore. this. Something a little bit different. Okay. And I'm not even sure if I have class or not, but let's find out. There's Biff. He's probably going to try to attack me. Well, he didn't. It's amazing. No days in the back. What? Thanks! <laughs> this smashed up that lady's car. Okay. You deserve it, Wally! Shop class. Is this a G 
chance to get a better bike. Alright kids, I'm in a good mood today, so just shut up and get to work. So if he's in a crap mood, we shut up and get to work, and if he's in a good mood, shut up and get to work. Alright, you're getting somewhere now. <coughs> I guess you're not useless. Not too shabby, Hopkins. Good work, Hopkins. Okay. See you next time, Jim. All right. Good. That's a pretty good bike. <coughs> I said I'd do it. And obviously we do not have photography today because it's not unlocked. So why is my What we're gonna do is take our bike. Kiss a girl. Sure he was just Angie is fine. Like you like bad boys. Hey, Jimmy. Um. I think I'm in love. <laughs> oh. Yes, we're making out. You got a problem with that? <laughs> Do you think anyone saw? All right. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do boxing jump. Whoa, God, lady, trying to commit suicide. So how do I do it, Pete? Do what? Beat those rich kids into submission. Well, what have you tried so far? Random violence, widespread destruction, gratuitous sadism. No, no, that's not gonna work. They get all that kind of stuff at home. No, what you gotta do is you gotta beat one of them publicly. You gotta prove to them you're better than their best man. Why don't you box that dumb jerk Biff? Not bad, Pete. Not bad at all. All right. See you around. Wait, Jimmy, can I come too? You know what? Don't worry about it. Aww. Poor Petey. Hey, it's starting to snow. I knew it was getting late in the year. Alright. Time to box. You and me, Biff. You and me what? You and me, the noble art of boxing. May the best man win. And then you little trust fund fairies will know what life is all about. Anytime, Popper. Of course, the best man always wins. Me. Come on. Afterwards, you can clean my shoes. Yep. Another boxing round. There we go. Honestly, I have not noticed any difference between him or the other guys. I'm sorry, Pinky, but that's not gonna happen. This guy is uh, not hard. He's he's actually tougher than the other guys, like in the world, but like in the boxing ring, he's easy. I'm counting on you. I love watching you hurt me. Come on, Biff! 
Show them what we're all about! And he's out. Who's the baddest? Me! Who's the toughest? Me! Who's the man? Me! Me, losers! Me! The champion number one! I killed the best! I will beat the rest! Yeah, <laughs> what have we got wrong. here? That That's poor right. kid just beat yeah. up Biff! He's our new it. champion! What? He is That's the right. new champion! Yeah, come on! Come on, man! Woo! You disgust me! <clears throat> it takes more than victory to become a champion. It takes breeding and nepotism and snobbery. You filthy Democrat! <laughs> Gentlemen, are we going to let some gutter snipe come in and beat up our friend Biff? No! Then what are we going to do? Beat him back to the ghetto! Yeah! 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 I find that's a bit disingenuous, though. Typically, the uber elites are uh, are your snobby Democrats, but whatever. I'm not gonna get into a political discussion on an LP. One more for good measure. <laughs> you pathetic wretch, hiding behind your friends. I'm leveraging the assets I have, and you don't. Friends. Just shut up, Darby. Here's some more tactics for you, poor boy. All right. This is a kind of a multi-stage boss fight. You gotta wear Darby down while he calls out some of his friends and stuff. And he likes to hide behind the bar and be a punk. And I don't know what I'm doing. Give me a hand in here, boys. Yeah, and you can't shoot him, so just take out his friends. Take the opportunities you can to hit him. The heavy kick does wonders in this fight, as you see. And he's down. That's it. Take out his friends and you're done. That's it. We're done. Who's the boss now? I can't hear you, rich kids. Who's the boss now, my waspy little friend? Uh, Answer the question! You are... Louder! You are... Uh, That's right! Me! Now you girls, learn to play nice, you understand? Now, Darby is really stupid, malevolent, and rich. So it will surprise none of you to discover in a future life, he'll end up in Congress. <laughs> but this is my story, not his. With the trust fund babies under control, it's time to turn my attention to their sworn enemies, those greaseball kids. So, you must be pretty proud of yourself. You taught those rich scum a lesson. They're rich, weak bullies. It was easy. They picked a fight with me, and I showed them who was boss. And Gary got them to pick that fight, so maybe you'll show him as well. Gary's an even bigger problem. He'll have to wait. Hey! What's this throwback want? A haircut? A nice strong man to cuddle up to? Who knows? Jimmy Hopkins, right? My friend Johnny needs your help. Then tell your friend Johnny to come and ask for it. Nobody tells Johnny anything. Johnny Vincent does the telling. Well, he doesn't tell me what to do. Now beat it, greaseball. You're causing an oil slick. I said he needs your help, man. Do I look like a charity service? You're gonna pay for this. What is wrong with this place? 
Everyone here either needs help, wants to beat you up, or both. Well, you know who Johnny Vincent is, though, don't you? No, and I don't care. He's head of the greaser clique. Get friendly with him, and he can help you get to Gary. Yeah, maybe. Tell you something, Pete. This place blows. Tell me about it. What the hell? Wonder this country is such a dump. Man, <laughs> stop being such a win. Angie, what in God's name are you doing in the boys' dorm, and why were you screaming at the top of your lungs? <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's uh, it's chapter three, um, and Angie is a complete psycho, <laughs> and I'm gonna save my game. Um, I, I'm I'm simply at a loss, guys. I have no idea what that was all about. Um, okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Alrighty, peace.